Hey everyone, this is Williamson. Um, I just wanted to make this video to show off a design I've been working on uh, for quite a while now. Um, I finally uh, recently just got my act together and managed to make it. It's an automatic tree farm which produces the wood uh, which can then be used uh, in an automatic kiln to make um, charcoal for use in a sulfur uh, steel factory. Um, so you wouldn't have to worry about that part of it at all, so it should be Navarak and uh and clay that you'd have to provide. Um so this is my early version on the left here, um quite spread out and also malfunctioning now. I'm not really sure why it's done that, but um it's just the it's stuck in an up cycle. So leave that, that's obsolete now. This is the new version. Um so this uh basically it's got the tree down here um, and when it grows uh, it gets pushed up and it takes a couple of bone meal to grow so that's quite good um, but it grows up and it gets pushed up the dirt comes out of the way it gets pushed up uh, and onto um, this uh, trail of um, logs uh, and then it gets pushed into this kiln over here um, and I haven't had any trees bigger than six, so this is big enough to accommodate them. Um, and so those will cook. I'll just make sure that this uh, is still running, because um, I tried recording this video before and had some problems. Uh, one of them being that uh, these had stopped working. Uh, they'd stopped uh, pumping, because uh, the pulse had gone too short here. Uh, anyway, so those have uh, uh, cooked and what will happen normally is this reclock which is over complicated but my reeds seem to take ages to grow so I just detect the number of times the number of um, updates that they have um, and then use that to trigger this so if I there it goes um, the water will come through and that will happen automatically by itself normally um, and the coal will just get pushed down here into the hopper and one of the other problems I had earlier was uh, the hopper got burnt by the uh, flames because it was over here before and uh, so hopefully this will fix that problem so there we go, 6 charcoal not bad uh, for one piece of uh, bone meal so how does it work I've got uh, some demos over here although it's night so I'll probably put to sleep first Um, but basically, the design's made up of a bunch of very simple parts, and if you understand all of them, then it's quite simple to understand how the whole machine works. So the most basic part is this. It's basically a piston and a block dispenser. And uh, what that does is it... the block dispenser's got sand in it. And when you give power to the block dispenser, boom, the uh, block dispenser places sand on the piston, just in time for the piston to rise up uh, being powered by the block dispenser indirectly so that pushes that straight up um, so it's, uh, straight up so if you develop on from that it's possible to have a system which will automatically uh, make a tire up as high as it can so I turn this on uh, this is the important piston here it pushes it to the side and pulls it back just in time for the next bit to be pushed up and it can just repeat that and it will rise all the way up to the top so we just wait for that um, but this is uh, called an up cycle so that's um, quite simple and I got this idea from the automatic tree farm discussion uh, which uh, was on the forums quite a while ago um, but yeah so it will eventually just get to this state where those get pushed back and forwards so and that appears and disappears so that, that's as high as it will go so if I, if I switch it to the down cycle, that piston stops moving. Um, slight uh, glitch sometimes, you'll lose a piece of sand. Um, it, I haven't had too many problems with that with my main design. Uh, so not really sure why that does that here. It probably does it on the other one, I just haven't noticed, but anyway. And then it just comes back and just goes through pretty much what that was doing earlier. Um, it's nice and simple. Just turn it off. Right, next is the planting system. 
So, uh, you may have noticed earlier, the dirt moved to the side when the sand was coming up. Um, so, if I simulate that here with this uh, piston and just a piece of sand, uh, it comes up, uh, the block dispenser sees it, uh, pulls back the sand, uh, pull, pulls back the dirt, and the sand can just keep going up because that will stay blocked. Now, once the sand comes back down, as soon as it comes past that point, the uh, bl the piston pushes out the dirt and places the tree. Um, it uh, the way it works is you've got a detector block here with basically two um, two uh, torches uh, placed directly on it. So I'm very pleased that that got put back in. Um, so this uh, this uh, piston is powered directly off the uh, block detector and uh, it's for very compact a very compact circuit. So this is self-sufficient really. That's all you need. And over here, uh, a piston which uh, a torch sorry which comes up powers this, which then powers the uh, um, block dispenser, which works brilliantly and it just kind of places the tr tree straight away. So the sound comes up. Here it this this drops, but if you normally uh when this happens you'd have a uh wood block there, a log block. Um and the um sorry, uh if you kept your block dispenser filled with saplings then it wouldn't swallow that and you'd be fine. Uh but it's important to keep it completely full because otherwise you'll end up swallowing it and then it'll push out the uh um log and then you'll just have a, a bit of a problem which will just kind of come back later so pull that back up and that's sorted. Alright next how do we detect the growth? Um, the problem with using birch trees as far as I can tell they're the fastest to grow um, at least the wiki says uh, but you can't use a detector block to detect they grow because um, they um, that will stop them from growing basically so you'll you'll know that they're, they're, whether they've grown or not because they won't have so if I just get rid of this, that's not growing. Um, so a sapling normally won't let current through. So you can, we can just use this for advantage uh, with this repeater here to uh, detect. So if we make this tree grow, um, current passes and we can use this for whatever we want to trigger. Now you may notice at the top there's something a bit weird going on with pistons. Um, and this is basically how um, I sorted the wood and the sand, and how the machine does that. Um, when it gets to the top, the very top um, that the block can go is basically here, uh, relative to over there. So if I play, if the, the top one is a log and it arrives, it gets pulled up and pushed off to the side. Um, and it doesn't look like it should be doing that, but just because of the timings, it just works out exactly like that. And that'll just keep pushing through. Now eventually we're going to run out of wood and sand will get to the top and that just comes up but because it falls straight back down it doesn't get pulled in and pushed across so it just drops straight back down and I'll just keep doing that for as long as you like. Whoops. Um, so we place this and it gets pushed out and this is the clock I'm using. Uh, it seems to work, it continues to work if you quit and re-enter the game so as far as I'm concerned it's fine. Uh, there's probably better clocks. I'm not very good at clocks so um, there's better ones uh, for getting about this speed uh, which is fast enough that um, blocks don't get destroyed um, but well slow enough that they don't get destroyed but fast enough to actually be doing something at a decent speed uh, just let me know because uh, that would be quite helpful. So now that we've seen all that let's get back to the machine. So uh, here we've got the uh, we've got the system down there for rising up the sand. We've got our planting system here. Um, up here we've got the com whoops, the complicated. How have I got the hang of flying? Um, the complicated piston thing, and then it gets pushed along. Uh, this detects uh, whether uh, the logs are moving, and it'll generate a consistent signal if they're continuing to move and when it stops it will send a signal uh, which will then get passed through this bit this detects if they stop moving but not if they start 
and then it'll send uh, a hole through the water which will trigger this bit down here. Um, so this is the part which triggers the upcycle. So the p this piston here covers uh, a bit of redstone which would connect to that. So that's activated at the moment, so it's on a down cycle. Uh, and there's a the growth detection here, which then links into what I call it a monostable circuit. It's what I, I think a monostable circuit is, um, but I may be wrong. Um, so yeah, cor correct me if I am. Um, and that one could be stopped by this piston, which is controlled by that um, water coming down. And the reason this is glass here is because there's this piston down here, um, which will stop that monostable circuit, because uh, that's what that is there. Um, and if this was um, a stone block, then it would power the piston, so glass just stops that from happening. So I think probably the best way uh, here would be to demonstrate. So if I just, there we go. Usually takes about two to get that going. So we've got our dirt that moves back. The uh, logs start to rise. They get pulled in and that gets pushed along. So this is triggering uh, and this is off. This continues to be off. Now, if you watch when this stops moving, there we go, that's turned on. And we've got a hole in the water there. Uh, that's turned this on, which stopped that, which stopped that. And then when this comes back down, our detector block will turn on, which will turn that off. So it's a bit kind of um, overcomplicated, but it seems to be the simplest way of doing it. So there we go, that's turned off. Um, the problem with this design, I should note, is that Recovering saplings is quite hard. It's probably a way of getting a bit of water in somewhere, but I'd rather not risk it with the redstone. Um, so, and you need to keep these st um, stocked by hand because you can't load uh, block dispensers from the side, obviously. So you need a hopper on top, but a hopper on top stops the sapling from growing. So, a little bit of a problem there. Anyway, so that's how that works. So, if, if we just have a look up here, uh, we've got a little uh, repeater station here which basically uh, will grab, this is the 12th block from the piston so they'll stop there, it'll grab those and push them into here which is the auto kiln and what that does is fairly straightforward uh, oh those are in there so that's quite convenient we can just wait for those to cook uh, assuming amazing they've done it again <laughs> it was about this point uh, when I did the last recording that this happened so Looks like is it too long now? Might be too long. Okay, I have to. Ah, ah, there we go. That should do it. There we go. There we go. That works. Whoops. So yeah, uh, last time it got too short. This time it went too long. So that's basically from the clock. And using a turntable will fi uh, fix that, but I just wanted to get a plot working. So, and it works for a decent amount of time. So we just wait for those. Yep, they've all cooked, it looks like. And we've got our overcomplicated uh, re clock here, which I think I showed earlier. Um, but basically, it, uh, I think it's 16 times there's a block update on the reads before they grow. Uh, there's about every kind of 20 seconds or so according to the wiki um, which should mean that it would take about 5 minutes for the reeds to grow but they don't so I'll just use this overcomplicated system so that triggers that uh, the block update detector which pushes up the piston to knock out any reeds that have grown um, pushes that down to this monosteel circuit here um, for when this activates so this is just it'll do two times of uh, just no signal and then one time with a signal. So I can just demonstrate that. There we go. So you've got the monoseal circuit here and that flows down there. And we've got our charcoal that comes along. So we wait for that. And it'll come into this hopper. So it should be about five pieces here from what I saw. Is that number five? Uh, let's say before. Uh, might be a water flow. Uh, hmm. Maybe there were just four pieces of uh, log. 
and then on the next update that closes so I'll just put that in there, it's the second one so next update will move that but that's not important anyway uh, so this is just uh, this is probably not as efficient as it could be this was just to demonstrate that uh, it's possible to directly without uh, the player doing anything get uh, free charcoal basically and then if this was to uh, drop into a mill then you could get uh, carbon powder directly um, for uh, sulfur seal production uh, so all you'd need to bring is uh, uh, clay and souls basically so whether that's neverrack or um, soul dust um, but yes that's basically how it works I'll just run one more cycle just to demonstrate that it's still working there we go yeah, it seems to have had a run of fairly short trees, not really sure that is. It's prob I could probably just knock off a bit here, but it works at the moment, so, you know. So this is moving along, that stays off. Uh, this stops moving now, that turns on. We've got our water there. And as you can see, the wood coming in doesn't affect the water flow, that just kind of comes in as it wants and then eventually this will close up, those will get cooked and it will open again before the items expire, they'll get washed down and even if um, a tree, uh, another tree were to come in those five minutes um, if these have been cooked already they'll just get pushed through anyway and it won't matter and if they haven't then uh, I was considering maybe adding a saw here to deal with any stragglers or just uh, a piston maybe to pull them off um, to be dealt with separately uh, but you can't, you could, wood couldn't reinject those. The important thing here is that this bit can keep moving freely because if this is forced to stop before everything's come up, uh, it will basically bugger up the, sh the machine uh, because there'll be uh, logs still here so the next tree won't grow and the player would have to come along. Um, if this was in a building, uh, you'd need access to this block dispenser for adding saplings but apart from that that's pretty much it so yeah um thanks uh that's it basically thanks very much for watching uh thanks to flower child for making this mod and have a good day